Chris, just uh, offensively, just what did what did you see out there that made made it difficult to get yeah, anything going? I mean, shot selection I thought in the second quarter was poor, um, you know, and then uh, and just, you know when we did get shots, we just couldn't knock one down. Um, I thought we played slow. I thought we played the game at their speed most of the night. Um, you know, we talked about wanting to play with a lot more pace than we did. So. Joel had Maxi as a running mate and didn't really have anyone going there. Just how do you kind of try to find offense when you don't maybe have that second scorer that's well, we, we, built in? Yeah, we've been finding it through ball movement. We've been th finding it through pace, you know, creating out of our defense, those types of things. Um, yeah, I thought we turned down some good looks too at times, when, especially when the ball didn't go in, you know. So. Did you want to make just Embiid a jump shooter and you just knocked him down, or like how did you kind of? <clears throat> well, the number one up? thing was to keep him off the free throw line, which I thought we did a decent job at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of those uh, pops we gotta we gotta veer back to quicker, you know. Um, Chris, it felt uh, with Embiid defensively, he was a, a strong deterrent there for them as well, for, or for you guys taking shots around the basket. What what would you like? to do better against whether it's Embiid or those strong rim protectors to generate more offense? Yeah, I think we got to have better spacing in and around the dunker, you know, so when he helps uphill, I think we got a couple of those looks earlier in the game. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's really not at that point in time, it's less of a pick and roll game, more of a movement game, um, drive and cut game. Sure, tonight you like pace, particularly with them playing last night. Do you feel like in the first team kind of let them ease into it a bit? Pardon? Do you feel like in the first, the team kind of let Philly ease into it a little bit? Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I think the pace wasn't there all night, you know, so I don't know whether, whether easing into it or not. So, um, but yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I thought, um, you know, we didn't ever really beat them down the floor. We let them load up on us, and we, need, we needed all the easy early buckets we could get tonight. So, What's the best answer when you're in drop against an opposing shooting big? Pardon? What's the best answer when you're in drop coverage against when an opposing? We're in drop coverage. Yeah, against like, an opposing shooting big like Embiid or whoever. Yeah, I mean you got to um, you got to you got to veer back. You got to switch those things out. And we were not very good at that tonight. So you often talk about you know sometimes offense goes in rhythm, sometimes it goes out of rhythm. Yeah. Um, how do you you know after a night like tonight maybe it wasn't the rhythm you want? Get back to maybe where you were, you know, on the previous road trip and kind of coach that coach that back yeah sometimes you have nights like this yeah. you know what i mean this is a pretty typical comeback from a road trip and play at home and you know it's no excuse but you know we're not going to overreact to it so on a given night do you know whether it's matchups or anything like that do you, do you go to certain guys like you know Jaden or mike or whoever and say you know this might be your night to score a bunch or is it just kind of just dictated in the flow of, of the game when it comes to finding that secondary score um, I mean, you know, we'll give them hints if we we see something that they can exploit out there. But we have all, we want all of our guys to be aggressive, so it's you know we we don't necessarily uh, you know single out anyone's opportunity. Do you think that by taking away your paint stuff that it really affects your outside shooting? Do you think you need to establish the paint to get get open looks? I mean, aside from Ant, yeah. Most of the, I mean, I, yeah, I think like uh, most teams, you know, uh, get their best three point looks by getting the ball to the paint in one way or another. Uh, I thought we got the ball to the paint pretty e effectively in the first two quarters. We just missed the easy uh, kick out play. Um, then by the time we were seeing the, seeing the, seeing the pass, seeing the kick out, um, you know, we turned down some shots. We pump faked ourselves covered. Uh, you know, and, and let him build back out. Do you think there was an Embiid intimidation factor at that point? He had blocked a couple I mean, that's in the second I, quarter. You get something for the guys to answer. I didn't, you know, I mean, he sat in there all night. You know, we went a bunch, but, you know, didn't get a lot out of it. So, What was the tech on Nas? Why did he get a technical foul? I don't know. I, I guess he said something to the refs. I don't know. Chris, I know you say you're not going to overreact to a loss like this, but I mean, it, how disappointing is it when you build that momentum on the road like that to come home with a crowd like this that's like ready to feed off of that? And yeah, it just I mean, wasn't for sure. Like, listen, we, you know, we're not happy with how we performed here, but so, you know, it's a long season. It's a really good team, and uh, they kicked their butt. All credit to them. Thanks, guys.